Hey guys, welcome back to A-Online. This week I'm going to be glazing and decorating the beautiful little fairy tea party scene that I made last week. Before I start decorating my tea set, I have some very sad news that I dropped my teapot on the ground and its spout has broken off. But I'm going to try and fix it and I'll show you how I do that later on. Alright, let's get some colours in this palette. There we go. I'm going to start off with painting my little teapot, cup and cupcakes and I'm going to make them look like the kind of tea set that a grandma would own. Those blue accents are looking very nice and now I'm going to do a flower motif on the side of the teapot. But it's important that I always remember to wash my brush in between colours. I want these to be a matching set, so I'm going to start the cup in the same way that I started the teapot, with some dark blue. Okay, these are looking adorable, now I'm going to move on to the chair. On the back of the chair, I'm using a technique that you might have seen me use before. First, putting on some colour diluted with water and then sponging it back so I can see the texture of the clay. I want the table and chair to be super garden themed, so I'm going to put a flower here on the base of the chair. And I love the colours green and pink together, so the bottom is going to be pink. Okay, now onto my mushroom. This is going to be a red spotty mushroom, like the kind from a fairy tale. So first of all, I'm going to use a small brush with some red to outline where my spots are going to go. I've put a couple of coats of this red underglaze on here because I want the red colour to be very vibrant. Cool, let's flip this mushroom over because now it's time to do the gills. But before that, I just want to make sure that my red goes right to the edges. With a tiny little brush, I'm just going to put a little bit of black into the lines that I made when I was making the mushroom. I'm keeping this mushroom table simple, so now it's finished and it's time to glaze. But before we glaze, let's talk a little bit about what glaze actually is. So here I have two of the things that I made in my previous videos. Look how cute they are, they're all finished. And you can see that these works, look at that cat, have like a shiny finish on them. And that is a clear glaze. So that is all nice and shiny because after the first firing, what I did was I painted on a glaze, which is like all powdery and white, and then we put it in the kiln and it melts into a glass coating. So there's actually a thin layer of glass on top of these. It's pretty cool. This is the Easter pot that I glazed and I still need to put a plant in it. Okay, I'm ready to apply my glaze and here's the pot of clear glaze that I'm gonna apply with the biggest brush I can find. It's also helpful to use a nice soft brush because I don't want to scratch the decorations I made underneath. Now you might be thinking that it looks like I'm just covering up all of my beautiful painting with white paint, but this is actually all going to turn clear after it's been in the kiln. I'm only applying glaze to the areas that I want to be really nice and shiny, and I don't want the stem of this mushroom to be shiny, so I'm going to leave that unglazed.
When I apply my glaze, it's really important to make sure that none of it gets on the bottom of my pieces, because in the kiln, all of this glaze is going to melt and become very sticky. If there's any glaze on the bottom of anything, it's going to stick to the kiln shelf and it's never going to be able to get unstuck. I'm putting a little bit of glaze on the bottom of my cupcakes because I actually want them to get stuck to this plate. Anywhere there's glaze is going to get sticky. When I put these in the kiln, I'm not going to put these little cakes and tea set on top of the table because I don't want them to stick down. I want them to be able to be played with separately from the table and moved around. There's my elf tea party all nice and glazed. It doesn't look as exciting now with the white glaze over the top of it, but after it's been in the kiln, it's going to look amazing. So keep an eye out on the Aeon Academy website and social media to see a picture of the end product. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.